In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an adjustable flash sync cable using Cat5, also known as Ethernet cable. We're using some female um, female to female Ethernet couplers. These couplers are allowing you to make your flash cable whatever size you want. Basically, you put male ends on all of your cables that you want to do, and then you just put the female to female. So, this is what the ending product is going to look like. It's, um, I put some Velcro on it as you can see in those previous photos how it was hooked on there this is so the adapter doesn't get in the way and it's also a lot less noticeable but just put some dull um, sticky velcro and that works pretty good and this next part and uh, this was originally a 33 foot cable so if you hook the end on and then you use two couplers um, you can make the th my cable 33 foot cable again for when I'm doing it longer You'll need the Ethernet crimping tool, some plugs, and at least one coupler, depending on how many cables you want to make. But Take your Ethernet cable or flash cable, in my case it's a Ethernet, and you're going to be measuring to see how long you need to cut the outside casing. If you're using a flash cable, you need to make sure that you don't get rid of that silver coat outside part, and that needs to you need to twist that and make that into a wire. So very carefully twist with your pair of scissors around the wire to get rid of the outside casing. Um, pull that off. Next thing you need to do is you need to fan out the wires and place it into the Ethernet jack. If you're doing your f and make sure the first time doesn't matter as much because as long as the other side if you're doing an extension is the same then that's okay. Now you just put it place it into the Ethernet crimping tool and when you're placing them in there push up and crimp tightly and that's how you make the plug. So do that again on the other side. To make your connector black, just wrap some el electrical tape around it and place another small little piece. Or you can also buy some for like a dollar thirty. And then you can, as you can see here, I'm using um, some Sharpie in the spots that I can't really get the electrical tape. And you just use a little Sharpie. Right here is a close-up shot of how the Velcro part works again. Um, I think it makes it look a lot better. You might want to add a little more Velcro than I did because it feels like it just might need some more. But it's pretty sweet. Here's a close-up shot of the plug on your the flash cable once you get that plug crimped on. Here's a close-up of the coupler that I made. Um, the circles where you're going to be needing to use the Sharpie. And here's another part of the flash cable. This is the part that your flash will hook on top and then that's the plug. Here's a close-up shot of the product we just made. This has been Matthew from MatthewRitchie.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and like this video. Thanks. And check out these other videos.